this is Dr. Bertha Aie. Today I'm giving you a summary of a radio series I've started on the 10 P's of Joseph's life and how to use it to fulfill God's purpose for your life. Joseph was a young man who was very much loved by his father because he considered him the child of his old age. He had loved Joseph's mother extremely, extremely dearly. He worked 14 years to finally get her to marry him, but Rachel could not have a child. And finally, God opened her womb and she did have a child. But due to circumstances which I discussed on the radio program, Rachel died after delivering her second child. And so Joseph was very dear to Jacob's heart. And he made him a coat of many colors. But once his half-brothers figured out Joseph was special, they hated him. And they hated him also because his father made him a coat of many colors. And to make matters worse, Joseph began to dream. And in his dreams, he said he saw that they were in the fields and his sheep stood up and those of his siblings and his parents bowed before him. And he also had another dream. This time he said he saw the sun and the moon and 11 stars bowing before him. And his brothers interpreted it to mean that they were going to he, he they were going to have to serve him, but they chose to interpret the dream that way. But really, the dream was about how God was going to use a young man to solve a global crisis. There was going to be famine thirteen years ahead of their time. Joseph was only seventeen then, and the famine occurred thirteen years later when he was thirty. Actually, the famine would occur. 20 years later when he's 37, but God showed it to the dream to him. At age 30, Pharaoh had a dream that in seven years time, there was going to be a famine. So the message is really titled the plot versus the plan. God has a big plan for the world and whatever dream he puts in your heart is just part of his big plan. His plan was to save the world in spite of the famine that was going to happen. And he chose a young man. He chose Joseph. And he showed him what was going to happen in the form of a dream. But his brothers missed it. They took it to mean that they were going to bow to him. Well, yes, they did bow to him. They bowed to him five times when he revealed, when they, they came to Egypt, when he revealed himself to them. And they bowed again and again. And even after their father died, they went and bowed before him. So the, the dream did come to pass. So the message is really short. The message just says that your dreams will come to pass. It doesn't matter where the people sell you, whether they hate you, because the dream is not even about you. It's about God's plan. And God will always make sure his plan comes to pass. It's about God. It's not about you. In that radio broadcast, I also share that don't let people's misinterpretation of your dreams stop you. Go about doing what you know you need to do. The dream will come to pass. And I also share from Isaiah 54 that no weapon that is fashioned against you would prosper. And I also share Jeremiah 29 verse 11. But God says, I know the plans, the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end. So it doesn't matter the thoughts that people have towards you. I mean, you know yourself. You have thoughts about people. Sometimes they're good, sometimes not so good. But it doesn't matter what people think about you. God says he has good thoughts towards you. So no matter what people plan or plot, God's will will be done. They called him the dreamer. And when he was coming, they made a plot. Let's kill him and put him in a pit. His dream still came to pass. And so today I talked about the pit though. So see if you can get hold of that radio broadcast and listen to it. And I know that you will be blessed. Have a wonderful day.